Hello everybody and welcome back to the second channel for our, our annual video. It only really seems like we do one video a year on this channel and it's usually the NFL playoff prediction, which by the way, I'd like to start using this channel more for certain things. I just haven't figured out with what because it seems like all of my exclusive videos just go directly on my website. Um, but nevertheless, we are going to be filling this out here this is the playoff prediction. We do it every year. A lot of people, they ask me for advice, and my advice is not binding in terms of betting, and that goes for politics or football or whatever, but you have a lot of people that ask me about both, and this video kind of covers that base as well, and we're going to see how accurate this can be. Will it be more accurate than my prediction last year? We'll have to see, but we're going to start off here with the NFC, then we're going to go to the AFC, and we're going to go down the line here from the wild card round to the divisional round to the conference finals, all the way to the Super Bowl. So, the game that I don't think anybody really cares that much about here is between the Cowboys and the Packers, because a lot of people probably are just writing off the Packers, even though they've shown their moments from time to time this year. I do think the Cowboys are going to go out there and beat them, though. I think they're going to bounce them. We've never seen a seven-seed win against a two-seed. I think that's going to change eventually, but probably not this year. The Cowboys are going to extend their home winning streak for at least one week. The Lions, my Detroit Lions, will be facing off against their former quarterback, Matthew Stafford, who had a bounce back year for the LA Rams. He's in discussion for comeback player of the year. The Lions have kind of seen this resurgence. They had their best season objectively since the early 1990s. The offense is firing on all cylinders. The defense is kind of shaky, although there are some bright spots in Aiden Hutchinson. They got C.J. Gardner-Johnson back. He had the game-sealing interception last week, and they're not going to be playing with their rookie tight end, Sam Laporta, which definitely is going to hold them back a little bit. But still, that atmosphere in downtown Detroit, that environment is going to be absolutely insane. And I really do believe that in a close shootout, the Lions are going to get their first playoff victory since 1991. Up next, we have the Buccaneers and we have the Eagles. And the Eagles are just falling off a cliff. And Matt Patricia has the reverse Midas touch. Every single thing he touches turns into absolute garbage. And the Eagles started off strong. They were 10-1, and but they were kind of a fraudulent 10-1. and I'm not saying they're a bad team, but they won a lot of close games against a lot of teams where the game shouldn't really be close. And they've gotten exposed by Dallas, exposed by the 49ers, exposed by even the Giants last week. That was supposed to be a get-right game for the Eagles, and it wasn't. You look at the Buccaneers, and yeah, the NFC South is the weakest division in football right now. Make no mistake about it. But still, there's a lot of pieces on defense, a lot of veterans that even if you want to say some of them are past their prime or not having the greatest season, they can make plays, and we know that. And the game is in Tampa. Baker Mayfield, he's going out there. He's playing better uh, than he's really played in his career, arguably, at this point. The Buccaneers probably beat the Eagles. Now we're going to go to the AFC. You have the Bills. Well, they'll be facing off against the Steelers, who for some reason just cannot tank to save their lives. Mike Tomlin, he can't finish with a losing record. And he proved that this year, but he made the playoffs for the first time since 2021, which was the last year with Big Ben Roethlisberger. But the Bills, they are surging. A, you know, a few weeks ago, there was no guarantee they'd even make the playoffs. They seem like they were down bad, but they've kind of turned the corner there in Buffalo. They are playing lights out. I think they're going to go out there, steamroll the Steelers. And then you have the Chiefs and the Dolphins. I would love for the Chiefs to be absolutely obliterated. We're just tired of the Chiefs. They used to be this lovable team of middle America, and now they are the exact opposite. They are the team of the establishment. Ideally, they'll go down, but Miami playing in potentially cold weather, and I, I just don't really believe they're going to be able to get it done. And we know how the league operates. We know that they're going to make as many calls as possible to benefit 
They're golden boys in the Chiefs, and the Chiefs are going to probably, in my opinion, get bounced eventually, but they are going to beat the Dolphins round one. The whole entire success of the Dolphins tends to just rely on that Tyreek Hill connection with Tua, and it's worked wonders for them. They've had a lot of great offensive games. The Legion of Zoom uh, is what I call it, but I just, I really can't uh, see them getting it done against Kansas City. I think Kansas City, they have one playoff win at least in the tank. And then we have the Texans facing off against the Browns. And the Browns have been playing really well. They've lost their quarterback. They've lost so many quarterbacks. But Joe Flacco uh, coming off the couch and balling out, it's amazing to see. And their defense is absolutely astounding. Now, it's crazy to see the Texans, they get their rebuild moving along pretty quickly. C.J. Stroud is a very good quarterback. His rookie season, Pro Bowl level, even if he didn't make it, But still, I do believe the Browns are going to edge one out in Houston, and they will get it done there in advance. So, the divisional round, here we go. Uh, The 49ers against the Buccaneers, I think the 49ers are going to absolutely steamroll them. They do very well at home. They do very well even against good teams, it seems. And it's like, they're really tough to stop. They really are. Christian McCaffrey will likely be healthy by then. They'll be ready to go. They'll be ready to get it done. And then you have the Lions coming in for revenge to Dallas. We saw what happened last time. The Lions effectively did play well enough to beat Dallas. And yeah, they definitely got screwed. Although there were some coaching decisions like not taking the points or even at the end of the game when they could have tied it up moving the extra point back to the 37. They decided to go for two from the seven-yard line, and it didn't really work out too well for them. But you're looking at it, and it's like, yeah, I think the Lions are going to be able to go out there and get it done. This is a resilient team. It's why I have them beating the Rams, not just because I'm a fan of them. I think they genuinely will beat the Rams. And if they beat the Rams and they face Dallas, they're going to be playing with just a, a massive fire lit under them. I think they're going to go out there and beat Dallas. They're going to go to the NFC Championship game for the first time since 1991. On the AFC side of things, this is where I think the Chiefs are going to go down. They're going to go down in Buffalo. Buffalo's going to go out there. They're going to get the victory, and they're going to end this charade that we see in the media with the Chiefs, and it's going to be a great thing. And then you have the AFC North matchup between the Baltimore Ravens, who are just playing lights out. When Lamar Jackson is healthy and he's at the top of his game, they are pretty much unstoppable. If there is one defense that can go out there and stop them, it is the Cleveland Browns defense. But I still think it's in Baltimore. I think they're going to go out there. I think they're going to get it done, and they're going to advance to the AFC Championship game. But the NFC Championship game... Lions, I don't believe they're going to get it done in San Francisco. We could hope for a good game, but I mean, the 49ers, they've been playing lights out. And in terms of how they match up, the Lions run defense possibly can do a good job at containing Christian McCaffrey, but can they really contain the offense as a whole? The secondary is really not all that great. They're not really quite Super Bowl level. Is it possible that the 49ers could have an off game? Yeah, it's possible, but I'd give them the win probably like seven out of 10 times these two teams would play each other. And then on the AFC side, I think the Bills' magical run is going to end. I think the Ravens are going to win it. They are going to have a rematch of the Super Bowl back after the 2012 season, the one with the blackout in New Orleans. And these two teams met in the regular season as well. And the Baltimore Ravens ended up just throttling the 49ers. And I don't think that this game is going to end up being a blowout. But I do believe that you will see Lamar Jackson and the, the uh, Baltimore Ravens in that defense. They're going to go out there and they're going to hoist the Lombardi Trophy come February. And that's the way these things are going to go. So we could look down at the bracket here. And you guys can get a good look at this. This is my prediction. These things are more trivial than the election predictions. This is probably not going to stand. But comment down below, what do you think this channel should be used for? And I will take your suggestions into account. 
So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like this video down below, comment down below, subscribe to the second channel, and I will see you guys in the next one, probably in a video less than a year from now. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.